What's up, fellow riders? Today we are here in Middleton, Mass, and I have one question. Does this place really have the best ice cream in the world? We're about to find out. Welcome to Riding with Esty. I am Esty. In this episode of Adventures, I am going on a quest to try some of the greatest ice cream the U.S. has to offer. But more importantly, I'm trying to find the best places to ride to. So I'm hoping that this place lives up to the ice cream hype and is also a great place to ride your bike to. Today we are in Middleton, Mass, in the one and only Richardson's. Now this is apparently the best ice cream in the United States, and I'm here today to see if that's true. This place was established in 1695, so these guys should know what they're doing. They've won plenty of awards, they're family owned, it smells like cow manure, so it's gotta be amazing. Let's go check it out. Richardson's. You can smell the cow manure. You can see those lines of people that never end. But most importantly, you can see that all of the dairy products are made right here on site with the cows that are right there that you can see and smell. Is this the freshest ice cream in the US? I'm not sure, but I'm dying to find out. And we're live. And today we're here with um, my boy Matt, AKA Fat Damon, as we all know. Brought his beautiful, lovely girlfriend Erica all the way from Gloucester. Uh, we're about to have some ice cream. We're gonna wait about, what'd you say, an hour in line? Yeah, yeah? Uh, two, two hours. Yeah, two hours, sounds about right. So while my friends were waiting in line, I decided to go and give the inside of the lobby a quick look. and they even sell it in bulk. As you can see, you can buy all these flavors and take them home to your family. And then they got like 30,000 people behind the line. Okay, so we got our ice cream. Which one did you get? Uh, coffee Kahlua Brownie. Coffee Kahlua Brownie. Crunchosaurus. Crunchosaurus. Coconut, obviously, because I'm Hispanic. All right, let's enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna get a few shots of you just <laughs> downing it. Oh So you could clearly taste that in this ice cream there's like an amount of freshness that you don't really get in much other ice creams. And probably that has to do with the fact that we're on a farm and they get milked right here <laughs> and the ice cream is made right here. And it really does make a difference. You could, there's like actual coconut pieces in my coconut ice cream. How's yours? Phenomenal. Yeah? It's the greatest ice cream I've ever had. Are there like pieces of something in it? Chunks of brownie. Chunks of brownie. Made with coffee Kahlua. Coffee Kahlua, is that like a type of bean or a type of grind ground coffee? It's a brand of coffee. So that ice cream has bits of brownie 
and some coffee Kahlua in it, which apparently is a brand of coffee. All right, what what Kahlua is this? Is like coffee liqueur. This is just vanilla ice cream, right? With blue dye in it? I believe it's just vanilla ice cream that's dyed blue that has crunchy chocolate covered pieces in it. Chunk, chunky chocolate covered pieces. <laughs> vanilla ice cream dyed blue. Yes. That's awesome. Because I'm a child. <laughs> I think you're amazing. So yeah, the ice cream is amazing. I'm gonna eat this, all right? Now, eating ice cream isn't the only thing to do at Richardson's. There's mini golf, batting cages, but the family favorite are the farm animals. We're gonna look at some chickens. All right, come on. We got some chickens. It looks like uh, you feed them, feed them through here. Oh, hold on, it says do not touch. Oh, that's a turkey. Is that a peacock or a turkey? That's a turkey right that's there. That's a turkey. That's a turkey, that's a chicken. Wow. That's a big bird. Look at that, huh? All right, kids. You see the turkey? Yeah. That's a big ass turkey. It's huge. Look at this gobble now. Is that that, uh... Oh my goodness. That's going to be me in a few years with the, with the uh, chin coming down like that. Look, check that out, huh? It's staring right at me. It looks like an alien. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like I'm an alien versus predator right now. I think she's gonna come at me. His head looks like a brain. It's disgusting. All right, sounds good. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is pungent. I want to enjoy this view, but it smells so bad. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Woo! Never again. That's good. Good to see, man. This is my boy uh, Diego Fuego. We're just recording a, uh, a video for YouTube. Sorry, YouTube channel. Oh, you have a sexy man in there. Now, oh, so. <laughs> yeah, I have a sexy man in there. He says. All right, bye, Diego. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Have fun. Get some ice cream. Okay. What do we got here? This is um. This is a, what is it? It's, a donkey. <laughs> it's not a cow, this is a donkey. Um, this is a very specific breed. It is the Greyhound Long Pointy Ear breed. Uh, it's actually a combination of a wolf and donkey. It's, uh, the scientific name is Donconius Wolf for Canavera. So uh, look that up. Guys, you learn in this channel as well. Um, I'm gonna now serenade and show you, uh, I'm gonna serenade to this donkey and show you how they um, mate, all right? Um, as you can see, they are now making love with their minds. All right, cool. So if you look right over here, we got Charlie's roast beef, Massachusetts. It's like big on roast beef. I don't, I don't know why. It's like I've never heard of roast beef until like I moved up here. These two here that I'm hanging out with, I'm sure we'll know more about that than I will. But um, yeah, it's like it's like rare cow meat that's like made into like some ham-like substance into a onion roll with like a weird barbecue watery sauce which is like apparently like the number one sandwich you can get in New England but this is not, not what we're here about oh and let's not forget it's also a pretty hot spot for motorcyclists so if you're thinking of putting this place on your bucket list it's definitely rider friendly And that was my trip to Richardson's in Middleton, Mass. Now, is it the greatest ice cream in the U.S.? Well, that's up to you. You're going to have to come here, right here in your motorcycle and find out. But it is a trip definitely worth riding to. I'll catch you on the next one.